We have read in our textbooks that light bends when it travels from one medium to another. We have also seen that light bends only when it falls at an interface at some angle. Have you ever thought that why does light bend only when it falls at an angle to the interface and it doesn't bend when it is perpendicular to the surface? Hello friends, today we will perform an experiment where we will illustrate why exactly bending of light takes place when light enters from one medium to another medium with different refractive index. Materials that you would need to perform this experiment are spherical beads, a straight thick wire, a cardboard, a cloth and a cello tape. So whenever we study refraction, we learn that refraction is bending of light. So when light enters from one medium to another, so like in this case you see when light enters from air to glass, there is a change in medium. So we say that there is a change in the speed of light because of which it bends. Now, would you be interested to see how exactly light bends? Let us start with this thick wire. You can take a thick wire or you can even take a very thin rod. Just make sure that it is straight. It should be completely straight. The first thing that we do is we wrap one end of the wire with a cello tape. Now you take the spherical beads. Now these beads, they will have holes like this as you can see here. Now you start putting these bits into the wire. So now this stick is ready. So now what are we going to experiment with this stick? Let's see. So this stick, you see it very freely moves on the surface. So the particles of this stick, they represent the particles of light. So as soon as it moves on a surface, it always moves in a straight line. Now what happens when the same thing moves on two different surfaces because again when we talk about refraction we talk about two different medium with two different refractive index therefore their speed changes. So now let's create two different surfaces. So for that we will make use of this piece of cloth. We will fix it on this table. To fix it we will make use of a long strip of cello tape. You have two different medium. This is your medium 1, this is your medium 2. So now it is expected that these beads, they would not move with the same speed on this surface and on this surface. Like let, let's try to move it separately. So here it is moving with some speed, here it is moving with some other speed, right? So the speed is changing. So in line with the same concept, let's see how the bending happens when light moves from optically rarer to denser medium. So here denser medium is the cloth and rarer medium is the smooth table. So here, so when it moves from a rarer medium to denser medium, we see that, let's consider if this is the normal. So in the ideal case, this bead would have moved like this, right? Which is not happening here because of change in medium. So what's happening here? It is bending towards this side. So it is actually going somewhere here. So that means it is bending towards the normal. So which was the scenario when it moves from optically rarer to optically denser? The ray was coming like this towards the interface, right? So by the time it reached the interface, what happened was these beads, they reached the interface before than these beads. So when it entered the medium 2, these 2-3 two, beads, they had already entered this medium, so their speed reduced. But these beads, they were still in the same medium, so they were moving with a higher speed. And as a result, what happened? There was some bending like this. So overall, instead of reaching somewhere here, it reached here. So that bending happened due to this change in speed of some of the beads due to change in medium. 
we will again project this beam of light at an angle but this time it will move from a denser medium to a rarer medium so now it will move from the sheet of cloth to the table so let's see what happens So what happened this time? Now had it moved straight, it would have moved somewhat like this, maybe somewhere here, but it has actually moved here. So let's say if this is the normal, so instead of reaching somewhere here, it reached here. So it moved away from the normal. So why did it move away from the normal? That's because this time, this was our interface, right? So these beads, were approaching the interface like this. So this time, when this bead was at this point, this one was at this point. So when it crossed this point, so these two bits were in the rarer medium. Whereas all of these were still in the denser medium. So as a result, what happened? These two beads were moving faster because this is rarer medium. Whereas all of these were moving slower. So as a result, it slightly bent it like this because they are moving faster now. So therefore, instead of reaching a point somewhere here, it actually reached somewhere here. So it actually went away from the normal. And this concept remains true for any denser to rarer medium because any time a light travels from a denser medium to rarer medium the same concept holds true so the bending actually happens due to the uneven speeds of the particles of light at the interface that is due to change in medium this bit or this ray of light will fall perpendicular to the interface so let's see what happens. So what do we see? We see that it went straight. So when it moved from medium 1 to medium 2, it just went straight. So this happened because when you look at these beads which form this entire line all of these they entered the medium at the same time so the time when this reached the medium is the same as this bead reached the medium so they all move, entered the new medium at the same time therefore they all changed their speed at the same time so throughout in this medium they were in sync because they had the same speed throughout in this medium they again had the same speed so they were in sync I hope you enjoyed it. All you need to do now is try this experiment yourself in your own innovative ways. And do not forget to share a picture of your experiment to examperevideos at gmail.com. We would love to share it on our Facebook page. Last but not the least, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We keep uploading many such interesting informative videos every day. Thank you so much.